Hi guys, um, this is another video about the Asus motherboard I've just bought and um, the video that's number 2046 is a small video, is showing you here, here and here are the settings if you want to have Linux and a virtual box or firmware or something like that. So that's the short version, what you need to know to get started with Linux. Here we're going to have a look, uh, a further look into all the details since um, I have never looked at it, right? So, BIOS version. This I should check. Uh, I believe I can update it. Build date. Um, I think there was a June version. So this is April. So that's um, maybe something to do separately. Another video how to update your BIOS. Um, processor information. I have got myself a 10700K CPU, 8 cores, 16 threads. On the articlenixforum.com there is a, a, a channel or forum called benchmarking. I've put all the details in there. We've done a geek bench and all that. And yes, the old ISO builder and the new ISO builder, it's a way, way different. It's, uh, what was it again? Like, like 8 minutes building an ISO and the other one was like 40 minutes, so almost double. So it's gonna improve our building. This is the base, the, the slowest it can go, 3800, so that's super fast. And it can boost, I don't know, five or something like that. It doesn't say here, or might be somewhere else, but no, don't think so. The date. Dates are important. Um, just uh, ask somebody on the forum. Dates are often managed with in here as well, but with the battery. So older computers, they have this, this small battery on the motherboard and they die. I mean, but they're not reloaded, they're just dead, right? So it can't contain the date anymore. So that's important because Pac-Man really is going to check, hey, uh, what system am I on and what is the date? And it'll give you a warning or even stop updating it. I had it once, I can't remember if it just halted or it gave a warning and continued. But it's important that the date is okay. System date, well, the hour is two hours less, so that's not correct for me in Belgium. But, um, well, this is not a problem for Pac-Man. So, security, what's this? This is where you say, if you are in a school or university and you don't want people meddling with your bias or your UFI settings up here, right? It's, it's, it's the name, I suppose, is gonna become one thing, the UFI bias, that bias is old computers and UFI is new. So back to here, let's now be thorough. Now I'm not a tweaker, never been that, I've, I've joined courses and, and classes and things like that, but it's, I was never that much interested in blowing up my computer, basically. Um, yeah, it's for the daredevils, I guess. Um, making it work harder than it's supposed to be working. Um, that's cool for me, not with my hardware, unless maybe I can just quickly just do a auto manual. And so I need to check this out, manual with an R. Uh, we're gonna assign manually and load the dim defaults, XMM memory timings with you know, frequency. Wow, gotta look, gotta Google a lot of terms here <laughs> and read what it all is and load the DIMS complete default XMP profile. Okay, so there is uh, there are options, basically, there are options. Overclock tuner. Why not put it to auto and have a look. SS multi-core enhancements. Auto lets bias optimize. Okay. Now, Let's read, let's read this again. It says load the DIMS default XMM memory settings and this one auto. Well, actually you can't read auto. Ah, oh, there it is. System will adjust all course ratios automatically. So it's scrolling down. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I am messing things up here. This has to be without any explanation. There is no auto, auto I see here. So, okay, let's bias optimize, cool. SVID. The 
more optimistic. The mode selected to lower the temperature of the CPU. A standby, I don't know if you see it, it's amazing. It's 31 degrees. Standby. I have a son upstairs here. It has an AMD. It's always 50. So, yeah, there is a difference in uh, hardware, of course. Okay. I'll just keep everything auto. What's this? Subtract this value. Okay. Auto, auto, but just like, let's click it open. Sync all cores all together. So, frequency, let him decide. I'm not gonna click everything, right? That's, that's, that will be a boring video. Just showing if you wanna buy it, right? Showing. Somebody has shown maybe something you definitely want to check out. Is that available? Well, maybe you see the word here in uh, the video. So, not much of a daredevil. That's not who I am. Auto, 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 auto. Let the thing decide the best approach. Advanced platform miscellaneous confirmation. I don't have anything PCI in there. Well, it can click, otherwise, you can't read. The bottom line will change. Clock gating. It's enabled, and I'm not using it. No, I'm not. Okay. CPU configuration. So have a look. This is what I have. It's great to see all these cores, well, threads at work. 16 of them. That's nice. It um, cuts down six minutes in my building. And an ISO building is now six, eight minutes for the Excel. So this is the one we've uh, shown in the other video. This is important, right? If you want to have virtual box on your machine, then you should enable Intel VMX virtualization technology. And we have in the video number 2046. That's the short version. This is me clicking everywhere, checking everything just gradually. Have a look. It's incredible how much you can tweak, right? Per core. Everything is auto. Turbo performance, max non-turbo performance. Definitely need to Google more and read more if you want to know more. Dual Tau post, never heard of it. Tau. Ah, oh, there's still so much to learn. Great. But as long as we get the basics done, I have, have, have that down. That's cool. Are we here? Yeah, we've seen it all. The monitor. Yeah, it's just some figures and numbers. So let's quickly have a look. 31, 39. So that's our graphical uh, machine, I guess. Graphical driver thing. UD650? I don't know. 560, 590. Anyway, that's providing my graphical driver. This is not plugged in. Ignore. Why ignore? Monitor. Voila. Not available, so I can't do anything with it. Don't use M2. Um, so the NVMe things, I know it can take advantage of the PCI uh, speed, uh, the four, but um, I like the bay option that I have. So on arcolinuxd.com, I tell you and I show you 
how to put a bay inside a desktop and when it has a little slider and you open it up the SSD pops out put it away you take your Windows SSD put it back in close it up you got Windows on your main machine put it back out again shut down Windows takes for hour then okay click slider up Windows pops out Linux goes back in you boot back no mixing of operating systems that way there is no grub problem there is no issues when when uh, grub updated like a week or so ago you saw that um, windows was gone right or other operating systems were gone and such and such and such there's no frustration if you get one operating system per ssd or per hard disk of course um, not going for water pumps, um, just speaking from my own experience, of course, we've done that years ago. Uh, it was not more silent, and that was the idea that if you got a water pump, maybe, right, you wouldn't hear uh, any of the noises that, that ventilators make, but there are super silent ventilators in there, uh, CPUs and other ventilators in your, in your case. So don't go to water pumps if the idea is to get less noise. That's not, should not be the reason. Look at that pump speed. <laughs> I guess it's uh, <laughs> attached somewhere. Q fan configuration. Oh, is that uh, AI cooling, artificial cooling? Oops, my stomach. Q fan configuration. Come on, shut up. I'm making a video. Don't make noises like that. Sorry guys. All fan tuning. Never done this before. What's this? Come on. Now, I'm clicking everywhere and changing things. There is always a button somewhere that says reset. Go back to the defaults. So you get the defaults from the company of course not the default from where i bought my uh, uh, my system because i'm pretty sure that um, the one who created it went into bias and set everything right for linux except on the virtual box thingy 2023 60 60 22 60 60 okay so not much changed silence it's important for me to have a machine that doesn't make noises that you don't hear in the mic here they all are i can set it per element per fan No water pump. Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> boot. So this is where you need to go if you want to boot up with different hard disks. If you have four hard disks in there, you could essentially make every hard disk, so to speak, the only one and have a grub in each one of them. And then say in BIOS, I want to boot up with hard disk one or two or three or fire for and then you are also not mixing operating systems and then of course you have to remember to press f8 or delete or f2 or something like that to, so you have the choice 
to say I want to boot up with that line being hard disk one being hard disk two and so on what's in here launch CMS has been disabled disabled enabled for the CMS for the fully non EVM device so I have no problem booting up with it being disabled I don't think there will be an issue with it enable it I'm not sure to fully support the non wi driver add on devices or the windows UI mode i think that i don't know what the old one is again to my left here but this is something to to check out if that's um, there so the guys at the office at the the shop where i bought it set it already different set it to other os so that's good Linux is all OS, it's not Windows. And then the boot configuration telling you what to buy, what to um, boot from. Messages. I think the post report is a little bit fast. I'm gonna give it two seconds to so then check a bit longer. Don't want boot logos from ASUS. Okay. And on the boot option, you can decide to boot up with, like I said, hard disk one or two or three. And boot overrides UFI. Tools. Let's do that in another video. The flash. Flash. Uh huh. You know. In the film. Exit. Yes, I want to exit. Secure race. We're not going to do that. Exit. Yes. Setup animator has been disabled. Never seen it. Don't want to see it. User profile. Mm -hmm. Profile name. And SPD information. So 64? No, 32. I said, let's, let's, well, right? Choices. 32 gigabytes is already a lot. Armory Crate, what's that? Download and install the Armory Crate top app thingy. Allows you to enable, mm -hmm. can help you manage and download the latest ROG drivers. Utilities updates for your motherboard. Yeah, I'm on Linux, my friend. Don't think it will be there. So, exit it is. So, here it is, and the load optimized defaults. If you say, I don't know what to do. Uh, this is just too much. I'm just, just going to use this one. Or, um, well, that's the default, I suppose. They name it differently. Load defaults or load optimized defaults. Save changes, that's what I'm going to do. And discard changes and exits is what I do with my students. I say, okay, let's go into bias, you are fine. And then not save anything because they're so afraid that they're going to break everything. And yeah. We don't want that to happen. So save changes and reset is good for me. We've done all this, done some work. We'll see what happens. I can always go back to load optimized defaults. Okay. So, okay. And the video is around 18 minutes. We should stop, but maybe first show you that I can boot again. Whoa. Thinking about Bob, the Buhas from Bob. Yeah, videos, right? Film, films, film level. All right, and we're back. So, I'm back on track. So, everything works fine. We'll see um, how it evolves sound wise and all that because i've changed something in fans we'll see but that's it right you just dare to change some things but on a cautious level right otherwise uh, you might break things but again you have this uh, load optimized default so good to go either way all right cheers